Taryn. Welcome back to my channel and welcome to a really exciting video. So Rose Gal and I have partnered together to bring you a massive lookbook. Massive. You saw a sneak peek of a few items that I wanted to show you in the beginning, really just to get you excited. I have 20 items in total, 20 items that I have tried on, taken pictures in, taken video in, thoroughly worn them so that I can honestly review them for you. Now, Rose Gal is not new to my channel. If you're new here, I have done several videos with Rose Gal in the past. I keep looking over because they're all hanging right here, getting ready for me to show you. So what I have done with this lookbook, I handpicked these items from Rose Gal's website. Now these are items that I really like, obviously, but y'all know I also tend to get a little bit out of my comfort zone, picking things that may not be my style, but that I know someone out there will really, really love. And I'm excited, I keep saying it, but I'm just excited to show you all of these things. So again, 20 items, I've categorized them to hopefully help you really envision these things in your wardrobe. So we have like party dresses, we have fall things, we have Christmas things, we have sporty things, we have cool weather things. Like I said, there's a lot. There's a lot going on here. And because I partnered with Rose Gal for this video, that means that you get a discount code. So I will put it here on the screen. I really hope that you love these things in this video. I am genuinely excited for them and they're things like I've mentioned that I think that you'll really, really like. Hello y'all, Taryn from the future here. I am editing this video and I feel like I'm sort of downplaying this partnership and what exactly is happening. So Rose Gal has created an entire web page for every single item that you're about to see, handpicked by me. I'm even modeling all of the items on the web page. I did a fun introduction video saying, hey, thank you so much for visiting the page. It's just a really fun space to sort of hold all of these items. I will link it down below as well. That way, everything is there. You can see me wearing it. You can click through pictures, me wearing different items, several different views of it. I think that's really helpful. I mean, you'll also see me wearing it in this video, but it's just fun and really exciting to see all of your work on one web page. And I'm so excited and so thankful, and I think that you'll really love it. So I think it just makes your shopping experience a little bit easier. So there you go, web page is linked down below. Please, please, please check it out, show it some love. And let's get back to the video. You will see me wearing these things as soon as I have somewhere to go. <laughs> You know what I'm saying? As soon as I can put them on and properly wear them somewhere and get dressed up and go do something fun. So let's get into this. Everything you are about to see, I will link in the description box down below. My sizes are there as well. I will say before we get into it, I check the size chart for each individual thing that I order from Rose Gal. That's helped me to get the proper size in each item. So remember that when you're ordering and let's get into it. Let's start with party dresses. So the first one is this gorgeous burgundy wine color. It has these sleeves that just flow when you wear it. I will throw in video now of me wearing it. Now it does have a slit, but what I really love about this is it has almost sort of a bodycon skirt built in. So that way when you walk, you get that bit of leg showing, but it's not too much because it does have a layer of fabric underneath that. This is also a little bit low cut in the front, but it has stitching to hold it in place. The tie on it is really pretty as well. This is just such a fun holiday dress. The color, the style, it's very fancy. I grabbed this one in a size 4X for reference. Now, according to Rose Gal's website, a size 4X, if I'm remembering correctly, should be a US size 22. I knew looking at this online that this was a more fitted dress. So in that case, I order the size 22. Typically with dresses, I can size down, but I knew that this one would be a little bit tight and I didn't want it too tight. This is so pretty. As you saw, I styled it with nude heels and just a tan little bag. This would be really cute with booties too and throw on a big jacket, kind of just depending where you live and what the temperature is. I am also 5'8 for reference so that you can kind of tell how long or short things are on me. First one is a hit. 
I don't know where I'm gonna wear these things to, like I said in the beginning, but this is just so pretty. We usually go to a Christmas party. This is off on a tangent. We usually go to a Christmas party every year, um, and this would be beautiful. I don't know if we're gonna go this year, but this is just stunning. Let's go with the black dress now. This reminds me of the perfect little black dress, but in a super fancy style. What drew me to this was the sleeves. It has this bit of lace peekaboo at the sleeve on the shoulder, but it doesn't go all the way down. And I think that's really, really pretty. What I love about this also is the tie detail on the wrist. It is a long sleeve dress, but this just adds a little bit of dainty girliness to the dress. This one is a great length on me, also in a size 4X. Has a tie around the waist. You could tie it in the front. You could tie it on the side. You could do without the belt, whatever you really choose to do. I like the bit of extra swing type style at the bottom. It really allowed me to sort of spin and get that extra volume for pictures and for videos. And that's something that I really like about this. Now, this one is also a little bit low cut in the front, but it has a wrap style across the front. Now it doesn't have the little extra fabric or thread that hooks it like the wine colored one, but I think it could be super easy to do if you wanted this, but it was a little bit too low for you. I think that's a super easy fix. These just reminded me, this one in the wine colored one of holiday dresses, and I know the holidays are coming up. I may just wear one of these in my living room, sit myself at my own dining room table. <laughs> Next thing I want to show you is an outfit. So we'll do the top first and then I will show you the pants that I'm wearing. So this top is in a size 3X, which I'm pretty sure is a US size 20. Apparently I was into this wine color at the time of me picking everything out for this video. This was a little bit edgy to me because it has all these slits across the chest and on the arms and it was just something different. I also really liked the ribbed detail on it. This one is a is a great fit on me. It's a little bit more snug across the bust and then sort of flares out at the bottom with this shark hem detail. This is great for cooler weather obviously because it has all the slits cut into it but also imagine this in like freezing weather and you have on a big jacket and some black skinny pants, some tall boots, you're going to dinner. I mean this is just... I don't know, everything about it I think is just so pretty and so different. And it reminds me of, like I mentioned, date night or girls night out. I just, I love this one. Now to the pants I was wearing with that top and I'm pretty sure it's with the next few tops. So these are a button front style pants. So there's no zipper, buttons all the way up. It does have these really cool pockets in the front, no pockets in the back. These are a really great fit. They're almost like a dress pant material, but they come in skinny at the ankle. And that's what I really love because you can wear so many different shoes with them. Booties and sandals and sneakers and heels just, that's just my sort of go-to style for pants. These are in a size 4X. I will say these fit pretty well. They were a little bit snug in the waist, but once I wore them for a few minutes, they became a little bit more comfortable. They weren't uncomfortable in the beginning. They were just a little bit snug. They are made of, they're 95% polyester and 5% spandex for reference. There is also belt hoops or belt loops if you wanted to stick a belt on there. Let's do this jacket now. I spotted this on the website and the model wearing it looked adorable and I knew that I had to have it. So this one is in a size 4X. It is this corduroy cropped tied jacket. So I paired this with the same black pants you just saw and then I just put on a black tee that I already owned and then threw this over the top and it was adorable. I love the ties on them. It's almost like corset style looking. I love the bit of a ruffle around the bottom. This fit was amazing. I just, this exceeded all of my expectations. It's adorable. The color is amazing. The fit was really nice. It has the silver hardware on it. Here's a close up of the tie. It's almost like a braided tie here. This surprised me. I was 
pleasantly impressed with the quality of this one. Now it's not a warm jacket, so it's not gonna keep you super warm if it's cold outside, but it's adorable. Let's do this blue top next. Now looking at it, you may think it's more of a casual or a workout top, which is sort of how I envisioned it, but I wanted to challenge myself. So let's throw in the video. I styled this with the same black pants you've already seen and black heels, and it turned into this really pretty, dressy top. I love the crisscross detail in the front. I felt like it did wonders for my chest and the cleavage area. It was really, really pretty. It was a great fit. Again, a little bit snugger on the boob area and then flowed out for the bottom with a curved hem down the side. A bit of a swing style at the bottom with the extra fabric. And it does have this a band of elastic sort of around, maybe right under the bust. Um, that I think is really flattering. It sort of accentuates that area and then flows the rest of the top out. This is a lighter weight top as well. So it is 65% polyester, 35% rayon. Let's do some plaid now. I have a rose gal top, the green plaid that you've seen in so many videos that I really love. This pattern and this color is so pretty. So it's this red, yeah, red and blue, purple right there. It's just a mix of really pretty colors. What I also liked about it was the buttons. They're almost like a wooden style button that I think is really pretty. This one is in a size 2X. So again, that's why it's important to check the size chart for each individual item. Now this one I will say is a little bit snug on my upper arms, but nothing that makes me not want to wear it because it fits me so well. And I think these colors are just so pretty. And there's a button on the sleeve too so that you can roll the sleeves to give you a different option with this top, maybe if it's not super cold outside. Does this not scream fall to you? These flowers and the background color, the yellows and the blues, and this almost, it looks burgundy. It's a little burgundy burnt orange-ish in person. I love this sleeve like this. Now it's got this embroidered detail down the front with a white string tie. This one's in a size 4X. This one fit perfect. It's flowy at the bottom. It's just a really great style of top and the colors and everything I think is really what drew me in because it is such a pretty pattern and pretty colors that they've thrown together. Now my mom helped me film some of these videos that you're watching and she said this was her favorite by far. She actually said to me, can I have that? And I had to politely tell her no because it's so pretty. I need to get her one <laughs> because she likes it so much. I think the length on it is really nice too. Um, how I paired it with the black dressy pants. I think it was long enough for my comfort zone and really pretty. Let's do a little bit of color block. I know we have a lot. I think I have, I probably have half left, um, but they had several tops like this on their website. It's almost this light brown, bit of a baseball tee style with the stripes on the sleeves. The color block on the front, I think is so flattering with that dark part um, sort of in the middle and the lighter part on top and the bottom. This one is really fun and really comfortable. I grabbed it in a size 4X, 100% polyester for reference, but these are just casual tees, sort of in my opinion. I pulled, I have this one and then two more that are sort of similar. Um, and style. But I grabbed three of them because I know that I will wear these without a doubt because they're so cute but easy. This is one too I think a lot of y'all will like because it is a basic tee but it's got a little bit of pizzazz to it with the color block and the stripe on the sleeve. It's long sleeve, could be um, used easily as a transition top. Can we just take a moment of silence for this jean jacket? This, you can't, you're not even really getting the full picture of it right now. So let's throw in some video. This is in a size 4X, fits perfect. It actually even is a bit oversized. I love the wash of this. It's more toward a light wash versus medium wash. It's sort of in the middle of those two. The distressing on this is insane. I mean, the back 
is completely open almost, but it's so pretty. I own nothing like this whatsoever. This and the other jacket are the two things that I was most excited for. And for reference, it is 85% cotton and 15% polyester. I mean, I feel like you'll see me wear this in so many videos. Let's switch to a different pair of bottoms. So let's talk about these. I grabbed them in a size 4X. These are almost legging material, but they look like jeans. Y'all, these are wild. I put these on and it's almost like a little bit confusing to the mind because it looks like you're wearing jeans, but you're not. I feel like it's the best of both worlds. Now these are an actual medium wash. I feel like with a little bit of distressing, it's not real distressing, it's just printed on there. Now I will say that I should have sized down for sure one size in these. I probably could have gotten away with sizing down to a 2X if the 3X maybe wasn't available. Let me tell you what they are too, just so you can get an idea. 100% polyester. This color block sweater, let's start with this. So it's this really pretty baby blue, peach, white, and almost green, like very light green color. This is so pretty. This one is in a size 4X for reference. This tag as well says it's a size US 22. Now it was a tad bit see-through. So what I did was I put on a bralette underneath. If you're gonna see my bra anyways, I might as well put on a cute one so that you can see that instead of my actual bra. You're gonna catch me wearing this one all the time. If you see me out and about somewhere and you live in my town, and I'm wearing this, just take my picture so that I can see what it looks like from far away. But this one is really pretty. Let's move on to this one now. It's more of a workout top in my opinion. However, I styled it with the jean leggings and a pair of maroon sneakers that I already own that are pretty much identical to this. So I am wearing this in a size 5XL for reference. So it's two pieces. It is the burgundy and blackish overlay and then it comes with a black tank top underneath. I like the curve hem of the top even though it's kind of different than the traditional curve hem. It curves in the front versus on the sides but I thought it was different and I was okay with it because I did have this bit of black tank top underneath it to sort of elongate the entire look. Let's move on to this chunky sweater cardigan. The color, it's coming off a little bit more red on camera. It's definitely more of a burgundy in person, but it is that thick, chunky sweater material just made into a hooded cardigan. So I just paired this with the jean leggings and a black top underneath it. And I really like the length of this. Plus you have that extra style detail of the hood, which is just something different and I think really pretty. I like how chunky it is. I think that you will love this in colder weather because it is super thick and super warm. The color also, look at that pattern at the back. Can you tell? Yeah, there you go. It's just a really pretty detail on it. This is also a favorite of mine. So it is a hoodie, but a wrap style hoodie. I will throw in the video here. So it's black in the front and the back and the sleeves are this really pretty ribbed burgundy color. It does have a hood in the back, but the front is almost a wrap style. So it covers your entire stomach, okay? But it's got this piece of fabric that sort of lays over. It also has pockets, which is really fun. This is thick. So this is going to keep you warm if you live somewhere where it's cold. I grabbed this one in a size 4X. I know a lot of y'all will like how thick it is because not everyone lives in the South where it's pretty warm year round. And I think this is something that everyone will like. The fabric is really soft too. It is 35% cotton, 60% polyester, and 5% spandex. Let's do this denim dress or chambray style dress and then we'll get into a different pair of bottoms. So this is a collared chambray style snap button up dress. It is actually a dress. It is a tad bit short on me, but I would probably just wear leggings with it to kind of make up for the fact that it's a little bit short. This is adorable with white sneakers and could be great with sandals and a beach hat. 
It has long sleeves. You can roll them and there's a snap to keep them three fourth quarter sleeves if that's what you prefer. This is just a really pretty option. I grabbed it in a size 4X for reference, 30% polyester and 70% cotton. The little pocket in the front is real as well. This is really pretty. Could be a great swimsuit cover up too in the summertime. If it is a tad bit short on you like it is on me, I mean, this is just an easy throw on option with sneakers, sandals. All right, let's move on to the last pair of bottoms and I have a handful of tops left. So these are sort of like active wear joggers almost. I grabbed them in a size 4X. They fit pretty well. I could have sized down if the 4X wasn't available, but I will definitely be wearing these. So it's these athletic pants with a white stripe down the side and they come into a skinny ankle. I wore these for a really long time, the day that we did video in them. I even wore them to lunch, to the grocery store, had no issues. You can't see through them. They stayed where they needed to stay. There are belt loops if you wanted to throw on a belt with them. Back pockets, I know I'll wear these. These are just really cute. And I also own a pair of black and white sneakers. And I think... I'm just going to match all the way around and do my black and white sneakers. So for the next several tops, almost all of them, I am going to wear these bottoms. Let's do another baseball style tee. So this is the one that I wore with the jogger style athletic wear bottoms. And I wore this to lunch and grocery shopping and running around town. I grabbed this one in a US size 24, which is a 5X. I could have sized down, but I almost like the bit of an oversized look. So it's a V-neck with gray at the top and it has the white stripe on the sleeve. It is a bit of a shorter sleeve. This is so comfortable, so cute. I love everything about it. I will be wearing this all the time. I love how flowy it is. I just love the little detail on the sleeves, how it's sort of a baseball style tee. This is another one that I think a lot of y'all will really like. Uh, like I said, I'm gonna wear it all the time. I tried really hard at lunch to not drop food on it because I hadn't stood here and talked to you about it yet. I managed to not get any food on it, right? I don't think so. Yeah, we're good. Uh, but I really like this one. Could be cute, again, with the joggers, with leggings, with jeans and sneakers. So many different options. Let's go ahead and do the last tee, sort of like that gray one. It's long sleeve, though, and it's pink. I love this one. So it's white at the top, sort of inverted compared to the gray one with the pink stripe on the long sleeve. It also has a zipper down the front. So you could unzip it a little more depending on your style, zip it all the way up if it's super cold outside. I grabbed this one in a US size 22, which is a Rose Gal size 4X. We had a lot of fun filming this one because the area that we went to had the train tracks that you're looking at or you've already seen. And it was just really pretty outside and really just breezy. And this top was perfect. It's not super thick. It's just something different. I went for basic style tees and tops and stuff that I knew I could style with a, a bunch of different bottoms. And this is definitely one of them. We have three tops left, y'all. Three things left. How cute is this? Hippie soul. My mom asked me if she could have this one too. I had to politely tell her no. So this one, if you live anywhere near, near Mobile, Alabama or New Orleans, reminded me of Mardi Gras and I had to have it. This sort of feels like one of those moisture wicking tops, in my opinion. Let's see what the fabric is. 35% cotton, 65% polyester. This is adorable. The hippie sole on the front, the bit of tie-dye effect with the different colors. This one fit perfect too. Did I tell you what size it was? 5X. So that tells me this one does run just a tad bit small, but it was really comfy and really breezy and really cute and easy to wear. Could be worn so many different ways. The fabric is just really soft. I like this one. My mom liked this one. I think you'll like this one. It's just different. I, I'll wear this when Mardi Gras rolls around. Second to last item is a bit in the Christmas spirit. So it is this gray hoodie pullover and it has this really cute black cat wearing a Santa hat and a striped scarf. There's a red bow on the tail. It does have um, a bottom that's a little bit tighter, sort of like that traditional hoodie style sleeve wrists are the same. This one is in a size 5X for reference. 
I grabbed it because I have a black cat that you've seen behind me in this entire video. And so when I spotted it, it's just, I don't know, it's really pretty, it reminded me of her. I'm always on the hunt for comfy, cozy hoodies or sweatshirts or just pullovers, things that can be styled with really sort of any bottom, but look really cute. And this is one of them. This one is a little bit snug for the size in my opinion. So if you can, I would suggest sizing up. We have made it to the last top. Are you ready? How, oh, it's backwards. <laughs> How cute is this? Yes, it is super summery. That's why I saved it for the end. But it's this black and white cold shoulder. Look at these straps, so pretty. Now there is elastic on the arm to kind of hold it in place. I grabbed this one in a size 4X. I think the fit is extremely generous. I could have sized down. I just liked the black with the white piping and pop of color. I thought it was really pretty. I picture this date night summertime because it is obviously your shoulders are exposed, but it was just so pretty and so cute and such good quality. This material is not see-through, it's not thin, it's not going anywhere, it doesn't cling. I know I have no business selecting a top like this when it's cold outside, but I couldn't pass it up because it is such a pretty option. I love it. All right, now that you've heard me talk for who knows how long, a big shout out again to Rose Gal. Thank you for partnering with me on this massive haul and try on and review and lookbook. It's a lot, I understand that, but it's also fun to bring you so many pieces in one video. So everything again is linked in the description box down below. Don't forget the discount code when you are shopping. And thanks so much for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, please give it a thumbs up. Be sure to hit the subscribe button and I will see y'all in my next one. Bye.